Junpei's storyline. This may be the last one for the night. We'll see how this goes. You all know how I love to succumb to peer pressure. Now's the time you've all been waiting for. No it's translation, really. MVP will be the man whose Grand Slam won it in the night, Junpei Iori. They've definitely got a little lazy on the uh, First off, I'd like localization to here. The team on winning the WBC. Thank you. Do baseball players really talk like this, by the way? As you entered that batter's box for the last at bat. <laughs> My only thought was how I feel like team to victory. Ah, the so casting focus, people don't really result. watch sports. Still, this doesn't seem that legit. All I can say is I got lucky with that hit. That swing at the critical moment, I got so excited. No step. I forgot to give the play by play. The ball went a lot farther than I thought it would. I'm very pleased with the result. <laughs> wow, you're so modest. No wonder they call you the ace slugger, Junpei. By the way, is there anyone you'd like to dedicate this victory to? Well... Um... Oh? <laughs> I'd like to dedicate that Grand Slam to my precious girl who's always supported me through thick and thin. I know that I can be a burden on you. I'm not the greatest, but... I think, uh, I think Chidori surviving is confirmed canon now. Oh, uh, oh, I was dreaming. I know there's been, like, a lot of discussion on whether her survival was canon, but I think because it was hidden it has to be, right? Technically the good ending. Oh, it's Yasuo Ina, but wait, <laughs> where is this? I like Junpei. Junpei is like... Huh. Let's see what the shuttle train schedule he's is. One of, he's one of the more fleshed out characters in Persona 3. And he went from being a douche to kind of an alright guy by the end. Without losing his silliness. I've really done it now. <laughs> Who's the man? If you get a hit, you'll be a hero. Are you gonna try for a home run? Dude, unnecessary pressure. Who says that to a kid? Jeez, he's like, he's got three jobs. Of course I am. You made me the cleanup hitter after all. I'm making this a home run, no matter what. I like I like that this kid sounds older than Ken. Watch your mouth, kid. Despite being like an elementary student. Just play like you normally would. The team's counting on you. Unnecessary pressure, man. Goro! Keep your eye on the ball! Goro? Like <laughs> the guy in Mortal Kombat? <laughs> See, the other kids sound like kids. What's up with this? See, a hero doesn't just hit homers all the time. Even if you mess up, there's guys behind you waiting to help. Now loosen up and do your best. Gotcha! No, Junpei's a coach. Thanks, Junpei. A coach of kids with, like, weird gland problems that <laughs> go through puberty way earlier than they should be. That's uh. <laughs> Although I gotta say, Junpei's really uh. He's really stepped up as an adult. He's got three jobs? After being such a slacker in high school? That's pretty impressive. Even if they're little jobs, I don't know anyone who works that hard. Shit. <laughs> He cried with his children. That's pretty funny. No, he didn't marry. He remember he's dreaming about proposal, so he obviously didn't marry her yet. 
Actually, what's sad is we don't even know if she was really into him after losing her memories. That was so close, guys. You almost won. All right, let's start practicing again tomorrow. See, Junpei enabling the I social links of 10-year-olds. If you all work <laughs> together, you'll never be beat. Okay, we're done for today. Luster, I'm sure Junpei sleeps during his part-time job. Yeah, I'm such an awesome coach. <laughs> the price you gotta pay for not graduating from college. You know, honestly, I could see Junpei having not gone to college. Given his family situation, he might have had a hard time getting support for it. See, that's the thing. Like, I like the backstory they gave him, too, because, like, they found him because he ran away from home from his, like, drunk dad. That's why he was out like in the mall so late during the midnight hour. Like he had shit to overcome, like inferiority complexes, alcoholism at home, shit like that. And like he turned out to be a pretty decent guy. I thought that was pretty nice. Man, it's like I'm finally starting to enjoy my youth after all this time. <laughs> I'm starting to feel... And he didn't slip into high. alcoholism like most victims. Uh, I don't know about that, Mars Wolf. He seems pretty alright now. You don't have to be rich to be successful. At least, <laughs> not in anime. <laughs> Did I just fall asleep like that? I can't believe I slept through so many stops either. Seriously. Although now he's stuck in Inaba. Without without cab fare to get back. He can't even call an Uber. I'm sure the shadow operatives pay him well. They have to. Uh, I wouldn't say that, Luster. I think uh, a lot of people kind of put up that front when they're dealing with shit at home. Like, he probably clowns around a lot because, like, he doesn't want to think about shit. What the heck am I gonna do now? I guess I better call somebody and hope. Dude, you could go to the Amagi Inn. They got hot springs there. <laughs> so he really did almost run out of battery power. That's funny. Chunpei stuck in Inaba truly <laughs> the bottom of the barrel in life. <laughs> Inaba's not such a bad place. It's like a scooter's ride away from... That's why Itachi killed a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Damn, that's dark shit, said Happy Man. <laughs> Finally! Hey, Junpei, what were you doing? I've been calling you this whole time. No lifelong stars. That was Ryoji's fault. <laughs> he didn't plan on it. <laughs> I like that their relationship hasn't changed that much either. Oh, hey, Yucatan. Uh, can we uh, not talk about that now? My battery's about to die. Hey, uh, what's that noise in the background? It's super loud. Ah, uh, your phone's about to die? What's wrong with you? Mitsuru-senpai, Akihiko, Fuka, and Igus have gone missing. We're in a helicopter to find them. Uh, they're missing? Uh, a helicopter? We've looked in tons of places for them, but uh, we can't find them. Anyway, where are you right now, Junpei? Um, somewhere called Yasuo, you know, something? 
fell asleep on the train and missed my stop, and now I'm stuck out in the boonies. <laughs> Damn, Japanese trains are you scary. Have so eat <laughs> <laughs> you could fall asleep on your way to a stop in the city and end up in the boonies by accident. Crap, uh, Yucatan, the battery's going. Huh? What was that? La who? Well, whatever. I I'll just find a convenience store and. Uh... <laughs> I like that. There's a there's a dial tone at the end of the phone dying. <laughs> it's not Junpei's fault. He was like in a tunnel or something the whole time. He can't afford an iPhone six. Come on. He's probably still using a flip phone for crying out loud. Phones aren't cheap. Nice, just what I wanted. I'm starving too, so maybe I should get myself something to eat. Yeah, I like those steak croquets. <laughs> Don't tell me they're closed. What kind of convenience store isn't open 24-7 these days? <laughs> uh, that's funny. I like, I like that that happened with the music cue and he's totally oblivious. What the hell? Int that's interesting symmetry. Oh, there you are, Junpei. Oh. Hey, Yucatan. Uh, I'm <laughs> making an effort. <laughs> it says at least, 24 so. hours on the sign. But hey, Mitsuru Senpai's gone missing. What's going on? <sighs> I'm surprised he isn't like ogling over her these days. Or maybe he's just. They've just gotten into that relationship where like they'll never really. Uh... So, uh, you look great, huh? Is that your uh, feather pink outfit? Oh, okay, there we go. Are you doing an autograph tour out here? Come meet the feather men. <laughs> you never shut up, do you? You're nothing but a minor character. Oh, shit! A minion! A loser! Minor Die character? The world have your body back. <laughs> hey, hey, what? Aren't you being crueler than usual? Uh, it's time for your punishment! Bring, Bring on, on the, the ring. ring! Oh, shit. Troll face, Yukari. <laughs> <laughs> you're a quick learner for an idiot. No wonder you're a member of the Shadow Operatives. Oh. Oh yeah, Junpei hasn't even been briefed on any of this stuff. Well, who the hell are you? I don't know what's going on, so you better explain yourself. If this is some prank show, it's not funny. <laughs> I like that they acknowledge that the TV's on a pole, but they don't seem to acknowledge that the pole seems to be coming from nowhere. You really are a yucky idiot. Now let's begin Operation World Destruct- I mean, the one-on-one P1 -on -one Climax! P1 Climax? I'm not in the mood to drag this out, so I'll just give a short rundown. The rules are simple. Win and you get to move on. Lose and you're stuck here. Huh? And by and stuck, fight you mean dead. Oh yeah, they've never dealt with shadow oh, versions you either. Oh, so he's gonna fight thinking that's really her then. Oh, 
Whoa, 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 hold on, Feather Pink. We, <laughs> we can talk this out. I mean, you shouldn't be pointing at it, people. Stop moving around, you pig. Just give up now and let me kill you. He. <laughs> I imagine he's just running around trying to dodge arrows. Ow! What the heck? That's what I said! Only the victor can leave the area! Now hurry up and get this fight started! Huh. I hope you're prepared! Evildoer, you're no match for better king. Strike out batter. <laughs> Strike out batter. That does sound like a super villain name. Yeah. Desperate times call for desperate measures. How dare you, Featherman? I, Lord Junpei, will strike you down. Oh, I wonder because he doesn't know about personas yet. So could I? I wonder if I'll be able to fight with one. That would be really cool if they didn't include that. Oh, okay, so I can use it. Oh, man. Okay, so from what I remember... The strikeout gauge works every time I hit with a bat. Uh, I get runs. And then three runs means. Uh, he goes into turnabout mode. <laughs> Ah, uh, screw it! Man. It's gotta take a lot of effort to get those, what was it, nine runs? Nine innings? Whatever it is that gets you to freaking... Junpei's version of turnabout mode. The Mook wins! Keep that up and keep winning! <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling a Mook? Wait, uh, you can tend. As much as I want to experiment around for the for the sake of story mode, I'll abuse insta kills. that just now it's a <laughs> dream right i i slept a ton on the train after all <laughs> he's actually got to be really confused was that a, a shadow convenience store right around midnight past midnight reminds me of the happy hour is this or not the happy hour <laughs> the dark hour come back the dark hour <laughs> The happy hour is where Vincent and Catherine goes and somehow ends up waking up with a girl the next morning. But wait a sec. How'd I use my persona without an evoker? Huh. That General Teddy guy behind this? We better step barefully. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty bad. Let's see here. Which way was it? Huh. So, yeah, now this must be an alternate timeline then. Too much is different. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, I know that store. Every day is great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not quite as good as Nanako. No, stop! Uh, that sounds Hang like Rise. I'm coming. Shadow operative Junpei Iori is on the scene. I wonder if they changed the uh, the splotches on the walls green because of blood would have raised the rating. Oh hey, Mr. Bubs. Uh, I was thinking about ending it here, but oh what? Is this a wait a Margaret episode? Do I get to play as Margaret? <laughs> Mr. Bubs, all you have to do is press square and then you're good. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Don't get hit and just mash square when you get the chance. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, I was going to stop after that last chapter, but since this is a Margaret episode, kind of have to, right? Uh, lifelong stars. Well, here's the thing. M-rated games, you can't sell as many is the thing. Not everyone knows that this is based off of a uh, RPG series, especially given the, uh, the gap of time that has uh, gone on between the RPGs and this fighting game. So, it's easier to sell is really what that boils down to. And it's a pretty huge deal, industry-wise. But yeah, fuck. If it's a Margaret episode, we're going in. There appears to be quite a commotion. Oh. Um, sister, I've been wondering since yesterday, what is going on in the outside world? Oh, snap. Theodore confirmed canon. Not exactly sure if P3 protagonist chose him or not. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you could say that those kids' ordeal is still continuing. Yes, Mr. Bubs, the dog is legit. Although choose Japanese voice acting if you choose the if you choose Ken and Dog. An ordeal, you say? Yes. In other words, mankind's potential is being tested. Potential. Sister, where might Elizabeth be right now? I think it's interesting that they made the Theodore our a bellhop. And going out into the outside world is normally forbidden to us. Anyone see that little emblem on his hat? That looks extremely familiar to me, but I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> nice mongrel gnome. Why did Elizabeth go through all that just to head out into the outside world? <sighs> I'm sorry. It was presumptuous of me to ask. I suddenly feel thirsty. Do you feel like drinking a cola? Uh, Margaret. Uh, a cola, you say? So sad. My. Don't tell me that you don't know what that is. She sounds so bored. Uh, of course I do. Elizabeth told me about it. An ebon monster compressed into a metal cylinder, waiting for the moment its prison is released to spring into the eyes of the unwary spewing foam. That's actually quite that. Quite. Apt. Well then, I task you with the acquisition of about a hundred of these colors. You want... M me to do this? 
But Bacola only exists in the outside world. Oh, uh, I guess in this storyline, he never really uh, I merely left the Velvet Bacola. Room. How and where you perform your task is at your discretion. You Even know what? if it takes you into the outside world. <laughs> I thought Theodore was kind of an annoying voice, but this kind of fits with the tone Elizabeth has set. Um, sister. Although, uh, Margaret is very off-key, I feel like. Yes, what is it? While I'm out, may I go see what's going on outside? Oh, shit. That would be none of my business. All I asked you to do is go on an errand for me. Theodore, DLC. <laughs> Make Can it happen, I? Atlas. Our master will be returning soon. Y yes, I'll go at once. I guess it can't be helped that he's drawn to the outside world right now. This current aberrance in the outside world is centered on that red-haired guest. Oh, so I guess Sho really was supposed to be a guest then. And Persona users have gathered to it, as if caught up in that fate. Even my heart races just thinking about it. They changed Theodore's voice in Persona Q. Really? Actually, I haven't seen any of the English trailers featuring it's him. It's troublesome having siblings so brimming with curiosity. 